Hello everyone, uh, this is just a short update video on my 68000 homebrew computer project. Um, as well as I wanted to share some information about um, an, interesting, uh, uh, an interesting issue that I encountered earlier, earlier today. Um, what I have so far is, uh, on the left side over here, is uh, this, uh, main, uh, com uh, this main processor board, uh, which has the Motorola 68010 processor, uh, ROM, RAM and uh, this uh, address decoder module and um, pretty much all the signals go through this, uh, these ribbon cables to the I.O. board uh, which contains an AVR microcontroller that plays the role of um, UART, uh, that is the serial port, um, timer and uh, real-time clock. Uh, for, uh, for the real-time clock functionality I'm using this um, DS1302 uh, Maxim chip um, which communicates with the AVR microcontroller through a serial uh, through a serial protocol, and the AVR microcontroller handles on the, all the interfacing with the 68000 bus. The program that I currently have in the ROM is a, a very simple test program that uh, prints a hello world message um, and uh, echoes back whatever it receives from the serial port. So it basically just uh, sits there, waiting, looping endlessly, waiting for uh, for interrupts to happen, whenever. Uh, something is received through the serial port, the AVR microcontroller raises an interrupt to the 68000 processor and the interrupt handler uh, just reads from the, um, from the UART port and uh, it writes back whatever it received. If I turn it on, you will notice um, the first couple of lines are just the debug output from the AVR microcontroller uh, for for uh, testing out the RTC code, etc. And uh, this hello world uh, bit over here comes from the code running in the uh, 68000. Um, if I type anything, it just gets echoed back, uh, as I said. Uh, this, this short program is just what uh, is contained in the ROM at the moment. Um, uh, apart from printing this hello world message, as I said, it just has this uh, interrupt handler over here that uh, reads from the I.O. port of the UR device and uh, writes uh, whatever it reads just back to it. You will notice that I used uh, an odd address for the I.O. device. Uh, that was not by design. Actually, this is the issue that I encountered er earlier today. The way the 68000 operates is that it doesn't actually have an uh, A0 pin, uh, that is uh, a line for address uh, address bit 0. So it only accesses the bus in 16-bit uh, aligned 16-bit uh, wide chunks. Um, the way to read or write bytes uh, is handled through a couple of pins on the processor which are called the, the upper data strobe and the lower data strobe. What happens is uh, if, if it uh, wants to read or write to an uh, even, uh, even, even address, read or write a byte to, a, to an even address, it just outputs that address to the to the address bus and uh, asserts the upper data strobe. Then it proceeds to read or write whatever is on the bus in uh, uh, data lines 8 to 15. So it ignores whatever is uh, in uh, data lines 0 to 7, uh, the lower part of the data bus. And uh, whenever it needs to access a byte at an odd address, it still places the same even address on the bus but this time it asserts the lower data strobe and ignores everything on the upper side of the bus. So it just uses bits uh, 0 to 7 for the transfer. Initially I was doing byte-sized writes to the bus and due to a quirk in the 68000 hardware implementation, uh, it actually duplicates on both parts of the data bus. So uh, both the lower part 0 to 7 and the upper part of the data bus, uh, which are bits um, 8 to 15, they both contain the copy of the same byte that is trying to write. So I was able to write correctly to my um, I.O. device, which just handles 8-bit uh, bus uh, accesses. Um, but when I tried to read from it, as it happens in this uh, interrupt handler, handler over here, uh, I would just read garbage. The reason I read garbage was I was actually trying to read and write to address uh, 8000 hex, which is an even address. But uh, unfortunately, when I designed the I.O. board, I wired it backwards. So as you can see here, uh, this uh, here on the side is the AVR microcontroller. And uh, for uh, the data bits uh, 0 to 7 that go into the AVR microcontroller, I'm actually using the bus signals 
zero to seven, which corresponds to the lower part of the data bus. Um, while I really should have used bus uh, eight to fifteen, uh, so that I could access everything through even addresses. However, that's not a really big uh, big deal at the moment because I can just use uh, this odd address and everything works just fine. Anyway, I just thought this was an interesting tidbit, an interesting look into how the 68000 operates and an interesting issue to encounter in the bug. So um, I hope you found that interesting as well. And thank you for watching.